Hello YouTube, uh, welcome to another tutorial of MySQL database administration and uh, today uh, we are here with another topic uh, uh, in the continuity of uh, our previous uh, session or previous uh, tutorial which was about MySQL, taking MySQL backups and we have discussed uh, types of backups and we have discussed uh, different utilities uh, for uh, MySQL community edition uh, to take the backups and so from those today, uh, from those utilities, uh, today we are going to discuss uh, one of the utility, uh, which is widely used and uh, which is very common in MySQL community edition. Uh, so, and that uh, is MySQL dump. So today we will be uh, talking about uh, how we can take uh, backups uh, using MySQL dump. And uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, so please subscribe to the channel and like, share, and please go watch my other videos as well and if you like them and if you want to share them with others uh, please share with them uh, okay so uh, let's continue with our tutorial today and obviously uh, starting from utility uh, so this obviously every utility uh, you are going to work with uh, it has some syntax and it has some options to use and uh, some utilities come with the MySQL installation by default and some you have to install them or uh, some of them are plugins and some of them some of the utilities are like some softwares are uh, provided by third party uh, organization uh, just like we have a third party uh, backup solution from Barcona which is extra backup and we have a uh, MySQL enterprise backup as well from MySQL uh, from Oracle organization uh, obviously uh, that is enterprise so that's going to be costly and licensed so uh, yes mysql dump comes with the mysql uh, installation you do you do not need to install it uh, like uh, as a plugin uh, just like with mysql uh, pump and uh, so the syntax is simple uh, start with the mysql uh, that's uh, binary execution and then we have some certain options and uh, in the option uh, you can specify uh, the name username password and host name uh, to connect with the database obviously and from just like we connect with mysql uh, command prompt uh, then we provide the minus c for the username and minus p for the password and then next if you want to connect with the host or connect with the uh, socket uh, and just connect directly as well so that's up to you how you want to uh, you, which protocol you want to use to connect with mysql okay so obviously the very first start uh, you come uh, to take the backup uh, that's you need the full backup and uh, obviously this is a logical backup this is not a physical backup and um, this is a slow one and this should be online and uh, if you want to take a backup of uh, all databases uh, from mysql then all you need is to use mysql dump and then uh, if your password are stored uh, inside your configuration file then it will take it from the configuration file in my case i have stored in uh, in that and so that's how you can do it so mysql dump uh, then dash dash all databases and then mysql dump and the all obviously takes the backup of all the databases and this operator uh, what's this gonna do that uh, it will store uh, all the information inside all the uh, queries like create and insertion and all that will be stored inside your dump.sql okay so obviously uh, okay and mysql does not store your routines and events and routines mean that uh, your function and all the procedures that are not stored and uh, by default uh, it does store your uh, triggers uh, i mean it take the backup of your triggers but it does not take the backup of your routines and events and so if you want to take the events and routines routines in your dump file uh, then you, know, you have to mention that dash dash routine and events so that's how it's going to take your routine uh, database uh, routine backup as well okay so next we have is uh, for the point in time recovery uh, obviously you need a consistent backup and for the consistency uh, obviously uh, this uh, you have to use uh, option which is called single transaction and the master data uh, which what it does that it will uh, place an uh, position like uh, the binary lock position that till this position uh, we are going to take the backup and till this position uh, our backup is going to be consistent and what does the single transaction does uh, let's I will show you in that in the next slide uh, okay somehow I think I haven't saved that uh, slide here but uh, 
no worries okay so what does the uh, single transaction does that uh, once you uh, start uh, once you add the single transaction uh, what it does that uh, it's gonna like uh, uh, take a snapshot and it uh, will tell you that uh, this is going to be a single transaction it will start a transaction uh, in uh, repeatable read isolation level and so all the transaction this is like a total isolation level so this is not this transaction is not affected by any other transaction happening inside your database and what it does that uh, uh, once you start the single transaction you uh, mention the single transaction so obviously it's going to start a transaction so uh, it's kind of create a, a lock so but that not lock does not prevent your application from doing any bml or any sort of uh, select and all that so but uh, any uh, ddl uh, should not, uh, not be allowed here and you should not do any ddl because what it does that it has the metadata uh, like uh, uh, like this much these are the tables i'm going to back up uh, and these are the tables should be uh, backup in the end of this uh, dump so it will obviously uh, do the recheck what I have started and what I have ended so if the, this thing does not match up then obviously you'll get into error so that's why uh, that's uh, why you uh, need to avoid the DDS like uh, alter and creates and all that so and delete as well so that's the use of single transaction and obviously if you are going to create uh, or your uh, replication and for replica uh, you need a consistent backup so you need to uh, issue this single transaction for your uh, as well and the master data as well because you need a position inside your backup uh, so that can be shown to your slave, uh, slave that till this I have and if you want to continue uh, you continue from this point uh, from uh, next uh, uh, binary logs so that's how you need a master data uh, option as well inside your mysql dump okay so next we have is uh, taking backup from mysql dump uh, we have is that uh, if you want to take a specific tables uh, just like uh, inside my mysql uh, dump uh, and we have a simple databases and i want to take only uh, this database like we have here is uh, mysql mysql and show databases and i want to take the backup of only this uh, employees uh, database and and it will only take the backup of employees database just like here so we are not mentioning dash dash all databases if you are going for a single database you have to mention dash dash databases not all databases if for all databases it's going to obviously take all the databases and if you want to read this you can check it like what's inside this if you see here all the like uh, things default sets and we have a drop if exists and all that drop is also added create table and you can you see here uh yeah log table for write and these things are happening here so that's how you ins and that this is the insertion of your data insert into department then values uh, so it's, if you see here uh, it's not uh, providing the uh, what do you say the tables so like uh, first provide the tables uh, sorry the columns and then the values so you do uh, if you so this is how it works and next thing I will show you that if you want to take only the metadata, uh, only the uh, table structure and then you want to uh, get only the data uh, with the column options or without the column option if you if you want to take that and I will show you that you know, why do you need uh, with or without the column option as well. Let me clear the screen and okay next we have is like we can take multiple databases like db1 and db2 db3 as well and if you want to take the backups of you any table then what you do is that uh, dash dash databases and then uh, mysql dump and titles so let's me take the, that you see here the database uh, will take more title so it's only title database uh, nothing else uh, uh, sorry title table taken for only what create table and if you see here uh, none of the other tables has been created and only taken for uh, one table okay uh, next we have is that uh, if you want to ignore any table uh, like if on, I want to ignore table then this is gonna how you're gonna use 
Okay, and if you want to cause the dump file uh, to force and drop each uh, database before recreating it, you can use that uh, add uh, drop database. So uh, if the database is already there, then it will drop the database and uh, it, it will create it again. Uh, in case MySQL dump writes a drop, drop database statement preceding each uh, create database statement. So you will see a drop database statement and then after that you will see a create database statement inside your uh, dump which we are uh, like uh, we did it here so insert sort of dump you will see that uh, next we have is here uh, if you want to take like specific rows like uh, 100 rows or something like that and based on any condition we use the where clause here just like this where and uh, greater than all that uh, sorry uh, this option is for it will store the information in this file and this is how you can do it like uh, high date is greater than this so this is an example and if you want to take uh, like the Amazon RDS or uh, any uh, EC2 instance and all that and you want to take it from your remote host uh, then you can mention that dash dash host and host name or IP uh, if the host name if your uh, this uh, host name is like resolvable by your DNS so you can use a host name as well and if you want to take uh, like uh, schema uh, backup and without data so this is going to do is that it will uh, take the back all and but it won't uh, do the take it won't take the backup of your okay so let me take the backup of only single database because I have some schemas here uh, which is not supportable by MySQL dump. So if you see here uh, more schema.sql so it's only take the backup of create uh, a drop and table create tables and it does not take the data okay so this is only the information about your uh, metadata and then if you want to take uh, the backup of your uh, uh, what do you say no create uh, db and no create info so it won't uh, create any db or not uh, tables it will only take the backup of your uh, data so i will show you what's the difference here okay so if you see here uh, we have uh, insertion you see here insert into this insert 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 and uh, we don't have any create tables and create database examples and you see here uh, we have that uh, insert in department then we have uh, department sorry then we have this uh, uh, column names and then insert values uh, this is because uh, we are mentioning here that uh, dash dash complete insert so that's why uh, that is why it's uh, showing us with the employees column column as well this is necessary if you want to uh, import uh, your metadata in other database and then uh, you do some changes like you add any column uh, and uh, you do, you want that column to be empty or something like that uh, like you want to insert uh, do not want to insert this data but some different data so it will do that you need to take the backup of your data only and you can use this uh, option uh, so it will uh, like uh, only insert the data into this column so then uh, so it allow you to change your data so in case you don't want to use uh, this is because of this complete insert option so if you don't want to take the uh, that as complete option so if you, uh, let me show you the example here as well data to uh, whatever it is not SQL. sorry still it will be able to see because these are text files so if you see here uh, now the insert statement is look different it does not okay you see here it does not show you the column names uh, you here you can see the column names uh, because uh, i have removed uh, the this option insert complete option that's why uh, and you see here you do not i didn't provide it the uh, insert complete option so that's the difference uh, if you provide the insert complete option it will mention the uh, column names as well and here it's not mentioning it's only giving you the values so if you did any changes to your metadata of your or any structure to changes then this import will create an error okay so next we have here is that okay next we have okay some tips uh, like uh, some short tips here uh, if you want to do some changes uh, inside like if you want to do some uh, examples here uh, that's uh, the examples like uh, making a copy of your database so what you need to do is that uh, just take a dump of that and then go to the shell 
and you can create another name for db1 and uh, you say the db2 and then you can import that uh, inside your another name of the database so you can change the name and you can okay so do not use databases on mysql dump command line because that uh, obviously it will cause you that use db1 to be included inside the dump file so which overrides the effect of naming the db2 on mysql command so it will not allow you uh because once is uh, when because these are all the sql queries you saw that so obviously if they use uh, db1 commands inside this uh, dump sql then obviously uh, it's going to change the db so it the it will run but the data is will be not restored inside db2 it will be restored into db1 so that's why you do not need to uh, do the dash dash databases while you are taking in this example okay so next example we have is that uh, copy database from one server to another server same you take the backup of that go to uh, server 2 and create a db1 and then just uh, restore that dump and if you want to take the events routine and triggers uh, you can do that so the drum trigger is enabled by default so that uh, when tables are dumped they are accomplished by any triggers they have so this is uh, by default and uh, the other options are disabled by default and must be explicitly uh, mentioned uh, to dump those uh, objects and if you want to uh, disable any of these option uh, use the skip events skip routines and skip triggers you can do that so, I, so that's options available here and the next one we have is that uh, dumping table definition and content separately i have shown you that if you want to uh, take the backup of the content separately uh, like uh, no data then it will only take the dump of the table metadata definition and if you want to take the information and you don't want the no data then it will you all you need to is no create info and it will take the dump of only your data and obviously for routines and events uh, you need to give the routines and events to take the backup of them as well and uh, next we have is that uh, that's the same thing for routines and all that and let's uh, if you want to take it for the uh, upgrade what you want to do is that obviously uh, just like if you talk about mysql 8 then uh, we have some changes inside your collision and uh, character sets so if you take the backup of your only uh, the table definitions uh, then what you can do that import that into the mysql 8 and check if the default uh, character set and a default uh, collision is supported by you by the database or, or not so like your definitions and the default character set value is uh, both of them are compatible or not so this is uh, help you uh, like in downgrading or uh, upgrading uh, so that's how you can do it and okay for upgrade this is an example you can do it in all databases no create information and what you do that once you create all your uh, database uh, tables inside your uh, for upgrade database and then what you can do that create the dump of only the data uh, and then import uh, this data so all your information will be stored inside your table so obviously this is not going to have the create statement and so your structure will be a the table structure and uh, schema structure will be compatible your uh, upgraded version of like mysql 8 uh, database and then you can insert all this information we will be covering the upgrade uh, in the future so stay tuned for that and that's it for the mysql uh, backups there are the some uh, scenario we have discussed uh, taking backup uh, from mysql dump and if i have missed anything and if you want to uh, know anything more idea about uh, how, any more ways of uh, taking backup using mysql dump please comment below and let me know and i will answer your question and please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.